Hey guys, it's Lydia here from LA3D, and this is part two of the CNC build. So, let's get started. Alright guys, welcome back. So, once again, this is part two. If you have not seen part one of my build, please uh, go check it down below. In the description, there will be a link for you. Um, it is basically, uh, this video is starting off where I left off. Um, and now I have actually finally gotten this thing cutting. Um, if you have followed me on my Instagram or Twitter, I've posted so many pictures of what I've been doing with it, um, and I do apologize it has taken so long for me to finish editing this video and uploading it for you, but it's just been a lot of testing, and now I'm finally ready to show you the actual final product that really works. So um, I hope you enjoy the rest of the build, and then we will start talking at the end on what kind of projects I've made. So now um, I wanted to make a vacuum um, type thing, so I printed out these pieces and then I bought a brush from the dollar store um, and started cutting out um, each of the bristles um, by their sections and used some epoxy, but later you guys will see I eventually take this off and change it um, because it's not very good when I actually test it. The suction isn't very good. Um, and I actually end up using a pop bottle later in at the end of the video. Um, but right now, as of recording, that wasn't very good to use. Um, so I'm going to actually end up having to figure out a different system. So next, what I do is um, get the vacuum. I finally got the right size tube and everything. Um, and I start drilling a hole in the back just so um, it will just lead into the back. And then the shop back that will be sitting underneath um, will just um, lead right into that and it will be all down below. So now it comes testing. Um, I didn't, I believe I don't think I had the um, electronics set up yet for this because I was still trying to figure out what to do for it. Um, but I just wanted to make it like look nice and neat. So I put some uh, cover in on here. This probably was like 10 bucks at Menards. Um, and I think I got like 10 feet of it. So that was pretty cheap just to clean up the wiring. And I was going to cut into the sides of the um, two by fours to make it easier to slide um, across the Y axis, but I eventually decided to change that. Um, so now. So now it came time to put some wheels on here. Um, I wasn't going to put wheels on it, but then my dad suggested that I needed to because I probably wasn't going to cut in my 3D printing room um, to prevent dust from getting everywhere. So this was helping me so I could move it from my printing room to our shop room, which is right next to the room. Um, there's just a door separating it. Uh, so it'll make it easier to get things cleaner and all nicer and just easier to move this thing around if I ever decide to move rooms at all. Um, so now I'm trying to figure out uh, where the plugins and everything were going to go. I wasn't going to use um, a switch like this, but I realized that it would be way easier um, just to plug one thing in instead of having to plug in several, like the, the actual machine electronics, the um, vacuum, and then also the actual uh, Dremel router. Uh, so then I wanted to make a base down here for the vacuum, the shop vac to sit on, or and to put some wood under. So I just decided to build that really quickly and made a simple little base here. And finally here for the electronics, I just had to put it in its little case and then started to mount that underneath the actual um, machine uh, table so that it wouldn't get as much sawdust on it as it would if it was on top. So everything was hung underneath.
So now once everything was um, built on there, I really needed to test it out, um, test out the moving, um, if there was any jamming or anything I needed to test, uh, and see the actual size that I could put in, uh, or the size I could cut so that I could put it into my software easel. Um, easel is a free software from Inventables online that you can use to cut very, very easily. Um, and it is very simple um, for users, as you can see here. Just had to measure my wood. And this was actually cardboard I was going to try. Um, but then I started to use um, wood to just uh, do a small piece of wood and do it very, very slow um, because it was my first tests. Bunch of so I had to do a bunch of searching um, on how to get this to work, and a very very friendly guy named Phil um, he helped me on a Facebook group. He's very kind and he helped me get this started. Um, he is basically the one to give all of the uh, thanks to for getting this thing started. I was having so much trouble with it, and he was one who understood it, and I got all my tips from him. So thank you once again, Phil. Um, if you're watching this, um, for helping me with this and getting this thing up and running with me. So as you can see here, I just did a duck down. This was the first test I've ever done. This was in some MDF, um, and things got exciting from here. Um, now I'm not sure if you guys could see, but I kept peeking in, um, to see if thing was, things were cutting very nicely. Um, but as you can see here, the blue is blocking my sight from it, so that really... Um, I didn't really like that, so that is why later on I switched to a plastic bottle. Um, but as you can see here, there's lots of there's some sawdust going around because the vacuum's not very well. So I'm still once again figuring that out. But other than that, things were going pretty smoothly. Uh, I just had to change the bit eventually. Like I say, um, I believe I say it at the end of this video, but um, the bit I was using was for some drywall. Um, so then here I start testing. A little logo this is the NDSU college logo um, I thought it turned out pretty decent for probably the third uh, cut of mine um, the vacuum did pretty decent on this one because there was a lot more um, but other than that I just had to switch out my uh, drill bit or my router bit and then things started to look a lot nicer so this is where I decided to change out the vacuum I had to melt that because it was um, actually hot glued to it so that is also one reason why I wanted to get rid of it and change it so I'll just let you guys watch me do that.
So basically, if you guys haven't figured out already, um, the name of this CNC is named after Polymaker for all the support that they have uh, given me through my working on my channel. So the Polycarve CNC machine is the name of this awesome uh, CNC machine and um, in honor of Polymaker, the great, great 3D printing company. Alright guys, so that is it for this final part two of the CNC build. I really, really hope you enjoyed it, but I just wanted to make this part two once again to um, follow up on the part one so you guys know um, how long it actually took. It actually probably took now from me cutting from the beginning of everything probably six weeks or so, and it only has cost me about 120 bucks, which is very, very rare. So once again, thank you so much to Polymaker and Ziltec for sending me a filament and all the electronics because without them this would have been way way more expensive and I probably um, wouldn't have got it done as fast as I did because shipping would have taken a lot longer so thank you so much to Ziltec and Polymaker once again uh, both of their links uh, to their websites will be down below in the description um, they're very very supportive and so very nice um, Ziltec also sells filament also they didn't send me because I didn't request any um, but the Polymax uh, filament is really, really great for the strength. I need it for this CNC. Um, so as you guys saw, this CNC um, makes great things. And after switching out the uh, blades and everything for me, I went from a normal one that you, you that came with the actual router that I use um, that was used for, once again, uh, drywall. Um, I switched out for a real router bit, and since then, it's been great. Um, cutting on the wood has been awesome and just um, experimenting and everything, making projects has been so much fun. So once again, if you guys haven't seen on my Instagram or my Twitter, there will be links to them both down below. I have so many projects on there and have been very active on there uh, lately on showing you guys what I've been doing and what I've been up to. And um, things will be posted on there before the videos come up. So if you want to know what's going on on the channel, uh, definitely go uh, like and um, follow me on my Instagram and Twitter. So that is it for today's video. I will stop rambling on and let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or um, any suggestions or anything for me, let me know down below in the comments. I would love to hear what you think about this video and um, if you guys liked it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.